what is up you guys it's your boy the real tundra aka king tundra and i'm back with another video i'm sorry i have been absent for just about the entire month like after my last video man my listen to started kicking in hurting like crap couldn't sleep for like 48 hours and then you know hurricane come through and all that crap kind of stuff we're not here to talk about my personal life we're just here to talk about what's going on with uh, the last update so i have been recently playing a lot of dead by daylight so i took a break from state of decay while you know waiting for more news and whatever to come so what seems to be going on is i had just hopped back on state of decay today and i saw some stuff where they're essentially talking about you know them thanking us for being on this game and so on and possibly maybe giving us the cosmetics and stuff like that but they're also going to be doing update 38 which would be the final update and as well we know update 37 was possibly the biggest one that we got because we got the curveball mechanic and stuff like that now here's the problem update 38 ha possibly has the potential to be a double-edged sword and the reason why I say it has the potential to be a double-edged sword is because a lot of the things that's going on with the game is one crashing two there's still bugs that's still plaguing the game and I've seen people in my comment section they're telling me so much that's going on with them and because I'm on console I'm not experiencing the same thing however I did have friends if you I forgot what video it was but I did say I had friends who couldn't even get into the game without crashing but the issue I'm having console wise is just crashing or my missions wasn't loading up when on Trumbull Valley but when I got back on today my missions was loading up and I was able to play some missions but after only 30 minutes I crashed and then I just decided to hop off and do this video but this could be a double-edged sword yes they're going to give us a final update but the problem is if this update is the last one then by all means you have to make sure that this game doesn't have the bugs that it's having because pc players are possibly suffering way more than console players like if you guys literally go and look at my my update videos for State of Decay, you guys may see people in the comments talking about issues that they're having. I mean, you see it on Reddit, on the Reddit pages too, that they're having, you know, issues and things like that. But if this is going to be the final update, then they have to make sure that a lot of these issues are being dealt with. They have to find a way to fix the crashing that's going on because we do know that they are working on the game and that's fine we don't care make sure that state of the k3 is gonna be good because that's what you want you want the game to be good but if this update is the final update and it's still having issues or it could potentially have these things where the issues are now far worse and then it's the final update that's gonna leave a sour taste in a lot of players mouth because i see on reddit that there are new players to state of the k2 so a lot of these guys probably didn't have to sit up here and suffer a lot of the things that a lot of us had to suffer or a lot of PC players had to suffer. But it's the fact that you are saying that this is going to be the final update, which we already knew previously. But you don't want to leave a bad taste in the people's mouth. And if you do that, well, then it's going to be looking like NBA 2K where a lot of people are going to be turned off and not going to have high hopes for the next installment like people didn't have high hopes for 25 and honestly i didn't even purchase 25 because i knew that there was going to be a bunch of issues going on and it's still going on and that's not something we want to see what state of the k3 we want to be able to see that this update 
fixes a lot of issues. That's it. That's all we want to see. We want to see if this is going to fix a lot of issues. Because if not, then update 38 is for nothing. Guys, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you guys think that it can fix a lot of these issues? Do you guys think that there's going to be some more things being added on to hold us over until State of Decay 3 comes out? Or do you think, like I said, it has the potential to be a double-edged sword where they're going to do this update that's going to fix some things, but in the end, it's going to have things even worse. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Leave a like for your boy. Hit that subscribe button. And also, don't worry. I have a couple of more videos coming soon that I plan on working on. Um, one of them is going to be talking about Dead by Daylight. If you guys are interested in that, please drop a, a sub for your boy. Hit that like button. And we're going to be getting into the next video. And I will be talking to you all later.